is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. In association with Micromax. Nothing like anything. Hi, and thanks for joining us for On Art. We're a magazine show on, well, you can guess. Each week, we bring you stories of art in India from a range of perspectives. Playwrights to painters, craftspeople to conceptual artists. Tonight, come along as we travel to Mumbai to visit a museum that's thriving after near ruin and meet the woman who led its revival. We have a profile of Rohini Devasher, an artist whose work is both scientific and imaginative. It's like nothing I've seen before. We hear from Mojarto man Rachel Charles about what's new on the website, the NDTV art e-commerce venture. And we recap an event that aimed to connect artisans to designers. Plus, we'll pay tribute to a historic architect. This is On Art. Much of the art that we see is thanks to museums. After all, most of us don't have access to private collectors' homes. Museums used to also serve as community forums and space for public art performances. I wanted to know what it was like to run a museum that maintained these values, and so we went to Mumbai's Dr. Pal Dajilad Museum and talked to honorary director Tasneem Zakaria Mehta. In Mumbai's Baikula neighborhood stands a building nearly 150 years old. It is palatial, gilded, spacious. Here at the Dr. Pal Dajilad Museum, visitors can explore Mumbai's past and culture, as well as bump into works by today's most notable contemporary artists. It's an artistic and historical oasis, one that allows us to see the works from centuries past and how they inform our creations today. But just a decade ago, these towering columns and priceless works were in ruin, neglected. We paid a visit to the Baudajilad Museum to see this historic institution for ourselves and meet the woman who turned it around. As you can see, there's no building in India quite like this. It's, it's absolutely uh, magnificent. They wanted to document the life of the people of India and the crafts and the traditions of the people of India. Dr. Bhaudaji Lad Museum is the oldest museum in Mumbai, built in 1872 by colonial settlers. For 100 years, it was called the Victoria and Albert Museum. In collaboration with the nearby JJ School of Arts, the Victoria and Albert Museum was a celebration of Mumbai's culture and emerging art. But by the 1990s, the building became run down, unseemly. And so, in 2003, the Municipal Corporation of Maharashtra, the Jamnalal Bajaj Foundation, and the Intak Foundation teamed up to restore the Baudajilad Museum. Tasneem Zakaria Mehta led this restoration effort. I came with a lot of, I mean, very sort of passionate and determined to do something. I have to say that nobody tells you what to do. You have to figure it out. This was a course I it had never been done before. This was a public-private partnership, the first time in the country. In 2008, the museum reopened its doors to the public, once again displaying its traditional art and tokens of Mumbai history. But this time, the museum added in one more element. They invited contemporary artists to develop large-scale works and installations that responded to its exhibits. What we did is, in terms of continuing a kind of discourse, because I don't believe that art has, 
uh, moments when you say, okay, this period ends and this period starts. I believe it's a continuum. I believe the influences carry on. There are influences from ancient times which come into the works of contemporary artists. There are 19th century influences which come in. And it, everything informs the work of artists of today. And I felt that therefore that dialogue with the collection, with the museum, and this very interesting, unusual perspective of looking at yourself through another person's lens should be questioned, should be interrogated, and you can do it in so many ways. The museum reopened with a show from contemporary artist Sudarshan Shetty. Sudarshan used to live in the neighborhood and would come here as a child with his father, he told me. And when we were restoring the museum, Sudarshan was the one artist who would come and come inside, though it was not open to the public. He knew me, so he would come and say, can I come and look, and what are you doing, and come and see. And so we, and then we'd have, and I would say, okay, Sudarshan, we're going to do a program with contemporary artists. Would you be interested in coming? He was very excited about it. He had a statue of himself in front of Prince Albert. The juxtaposition of that on a pedestal and all in gold. So Darshan never wears a suit. He was wearing a suit. It was, he was gilded, gold gilded. And the statue was leaning and on the side was a box and there was a kind of mechanism. And as you put money in the box, the slowly, slowly, slowly the statue would stand up. Um, it was a comment on the art world, it was a comment on how money de defines and determines any, everything. It's about tradition, it's about time, it's about questioning the permanence of anything. And the idea of the museum is that it's this grand, permanent sort of to memory in a sense. And he's, he was questioning and debunking that whole theory in a very uh, in a very beautiful and graceful kind of way. Since the museum's collaboration with Sudarshan Shetty, it has also invited famous artists such as Rina Kalat, Atul Dodia, and Jitain Tukral and Sumir Tagra to participate. Baudajilad Museum also runs several programs designed to benefit the community. Our main thrust is education, because I really believe that's what is needed today in our country. It's not just about showcasing your culture and tom-toming it and saying, oh, look at us, we're so great, what a great past we have. I believe it is about really sensitizing people to appreciate and understand the values embedded in some of the, the great cultures that we look back. After its 2008 revival and success over the past eight years, the museum has its sights set on expansion. They hope to open a new space for their massive collection of contemporary art by 2018. It's clear that celebrating art can be radical work that requires commitment and innovation. Last week, we met another organization that aims to do just that. The Asian Heritage Foundation launched a new initiative called Design Design, which works to connect local designers to a wider audience. Last week, among tribal food and Nepali dances, the GEO Foundation celebrated its seventh anniversary. The GEO Foundation aims to raise awareness about the stable ways and skill sets of far-out communities in the Indian subcontinent. They try to bridge cities with villages through their Believe by Belong philosophy. It's coming of age of an endeavor to empower the skilled. Uh, a lot of our time was spent in mapping these skills. And where are these skilled people who, will, who are the future of India's future of work. What kicks off from this year's celebration of the GEO project is the start of Design Design, a multidisciplinary platform for young creative designers. Here, they can come together with traditional skill sets from various clusters in India and create products that are born of inter-community talent collaboration. Initiatives like Design Design make it clear that there's no lack of beautiful art right here in India. 
Want to see some for yourself? Here are some upcoming art events across the country. Hyderabad. Celebrate this holiday season with Holi and Yugadi Art at Balram Art Academy. Pune, the Avayava Dance Festival, which brings together contemporary dance performances, experiments, and artists from around the world, is happening this weekend at Shakuntala Jagannath Shetty Auditorium. Mumbai, Girls Only India Edition is next Friday, April 15th. The show features emerging women artists from across disciplines, and it's happening at the Museum of New. Delhi, don't miss the Srijan Cultural Festival happening at Sociocultural Ground in Southwest Delhi. It's an event inviting music, dance, food, and sellers from a range of cultures across India. Hopefully you can make it to one of these events. And if you have an event coming up in the art world, let us know. Email onart at ndtv.com and we might just share it in this space. After the break, we'll hear from our friends at Mojarto and learn more about an astronomer artist. Stay tuned.